recording. Turn on muting. Sorry, and then we're doing it. Okay. Yeah. While I'm like preparing my stuff, I want Amy. You tell about your retreat. This is my friend Amy who teaches yoga with me. Uh, mostly yeah. So uh, if next. This coming Friday, I am teaching a, a writer's like horseback riding and writing retreat up in the Guintas, a beautiful little town. And we have four spots left. Thank you, Katie, for letting me have this opportunity. <laughs> and um, uh, it's there's going to be walking meditations. We have a guided nature walk. The horses are we're doing two, two shifts of forty. So uh, my website thing is amyconyoga.com and uh, all the information on there. So if you, we have a, a guy, we have a woman that comes up and she teaches us uh, just the process of journaling, getting that stuff out of our shelves. So I call it writing. <laughs> I love it. And it's a really, did you say already? It's not that far. It's like an hour and a half yeah, drive. Like, so easy. Yeah. Weekend. Yeah, it's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So it's like Friday to do. If you're free. It's Sunday at four. And it's all provided, like all the other It would be an easy, just like, do it. Just like full send. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's see, what else do I have? So um, this week, this Friday, I have, it's hard for me to keep track of my own stuff, but yes, this Friday, I have a special offering that I'm doing, which is an ex-Mormon breathwork um, and sound journey. So it is specifically for people who have left the Mormon church just to have a safe space and container to process in. And if that, um, if you are one of those people. If that, what am I trying to say? If that description fits you, it doesn't mean you have to be like so angry about leaving the Mormon church and have all this stuff about it. it just means you can relate with this group of people and you know what they're feeling and going through and they feel safe um, expressing around you. So it's a, I think it's a really powerful thing like offering that I did it last month and it was awesome. And I and they're like, let's do this every month. So I'm going to do it every month. And it's this Friday at the local co op or mosaic yoga, whichever one you call it. It's the same space um, in Sugar House. It's $25, 730, 730 to nine. So an hour and a half. Um, and if you want to sign up, I can give you, I can text you the uh, sign up. So just let me know. Um, and I also put all that info on my Instagram and let's just go with that. Let's practice. So thank you for being here. I love you. <laughs> let's do yoga. Okay. Go ahead and just come to a comfortable seat. So if you're already there, awesome. If you want to make any intentional adjustments or take any little movements. So I always like to just kind of move my body and get a little bit of physical feedback before settling in. So just noticing how your physical body feels this morning. And then eventually find a place where you can just be still, where you can sit with intention and attention. So spine nice and long, eyes closed. And place your hands somewhere that resonates for you. So if you want to rest them in your lap, perfect. Palms face up for more openness, receptivity, face down for a little more grounding. Maybe hands to your heart or one hand to your heart space, one hand to your belly. So totally up to you. And then start to notice not just your physical body, but go a little bit deeper. Feel into your energetic body. So the energy inside of you, can you feel into that? Maybe you visualize it. If it had a color, the quality of your energy, what color would it be? And start to feel into that space inside of you and also that space around you, a little invisible outline of your body. 
Start to feel the rise and fall of your breath and feel your energetic body as well. Expand and contract with your breath. Within your energetic body, are there any emotions moving around this morning? So sometimes I have a lot happening inside and sometimes very little. So no judgment, no right or wrong. But just begin to notice what's present for you. And you don't necessarily have to label it, but just feeling into raw sensation, raw energy, raw emotion. Where is it? Is it heavy? Is it light? What color is it? And can you breathe into it? Next time you inhale, everybody fill up as big as you can. Hold at the very top of that breath. When you think you're full, see if you can sip in even a little bit more. Big open mouth sigh, let it go. Ah. Again, just like that, inhale, fill up. Hold in fullness, feel your entire body expand, inflate, take up more space. Big sigh, release, ha. One more round, biggest inhale. You've taken all morning long. Imagine you're just waking up your inner body with this breath. Hold, let it circulate through and then big sigh when you're ready. Let it go, breathe it out, ha. Very nice. Ujjayi breath. So seal your lips and start to cultivate your Ujjayi breath in and out through your nose by way of the back of your throat. You can stay right here in your seated meditation, connecting to your breath for as long as you want to. If this is what you do the entire practice, that's fine with me. If you're ready to move, Come forward to hands and knees. And from your hands and your knees, start to explore through your body just intuitively. So maybe that looks like cat cows to begin with. Maybe you want to sit back into a child's pose. Circle your hips all the way around. Come forward towards up dog, cobra. You want to spin your fingers out or spin your fingers back. Take little rock side to side, forward and back or around in circles. So feeling into your wrists, into your fingertips, stretching your forearms. There's about a million ways you can move from your hands and your knees. Invitation to keep your eyes closed and imagine yourself not so much as a human being, but as some sort of four-legged creature, more of an animal. Imagine you just woke up for a long, from a long nap and you're getting ready to go on a run. You're getting ready to move your body. How would you stretch? How would you explore? Feel into all those little spaces. Be instinctual. Use your breath. Take about four or five more rounds. And then eventually downward facing dog is our destination. So in your own time and in your own way, you can start a transition back to our first down dog of practice. Nice job, you guys. As you move back into your dog pose, keep that exploration go going, excuse me. So keep feeling around. Maybe pedal out your heels. Maybe take your feet out wide and transfer your weight from one side to the other. Maybe windshield wiper your heels from side to side. There's so many ways to move and explore from your down dog. If you want to reach one leg up and then the other, go for it. 
And then see if you can start to feel your body in a more efficient way, feel it working more efficiently for you. So if it feels like all of the weight is down in your hands, how can you change that? With your fingers spreading really wide, push the ground away. See if you can feel your shoulders get strong. See if you can feel your side bodies elongate. Feel that strength in your center, that lift that comes from your center. So like I always talk about that invisible rope that's attached to your belly button. Imagine it's pulling up, tugging towards the top corner of the back wall. So you feel lighter. Use your breath. Inhales make you feel light, buoyant. Exhales connect you to your intrinsic strength. So every exhale, feel your navel pull in towards your spine. You guys look so good. Nice poses. Take one more big inhalation. As you exhale, gaze to the top of your mat, however you want to get there. Forward fold, top of your space. Pause for a moment. And I'd recommend feet at least hips with distance apart, maybe even a little bit wider for this first one. Let's take a rag doll. So grab opposite elbows. Let your head be heavy. Let your neck relax. See if you can lift your sit bones up towards the sky by engaging your core. So that invisible rope, it's pulling straight up towards the ceiling. You're a rag doll and you're hanging, you're dangling. Sway a little bit, bob a little bit. Maybe bounce a little bit. Weight forward in your feet. So I would rather have you be bending your knees a lot, your heels really, really light against the ground, than locking out your knees and rocking back into your heels. Yes, nice adjustments. Take one more big deep breath. And then next time you breathe in, halfway lift position. So release your elbows, find parallel to the ground. Exhale, let it go, refold. <clears throat> Again, just like that, halfway lift. Top of your head reaches forward, so back of your neck is long. Stick your butt way out. Exhale, fold, let it go. This time, come through your halfway lift and rise all the way up, arms to the sky. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Nice job. With your breath, inhale, high mountain, reach and stretch. Exhale, swan dive down. So really stick your butt out, bend your knees a lot and reach your heart forward, then fold in. So weight is forward in your feet as you dive down. Halfway lift, breathe in, lengthen. Like you're gazing over the edge of a diving board. Very nice. Exhale, fold and bow. Press into your feet. Nice curls. Rise all the way up. Heart leads. Inhale, high mountain, arms to the sky. Hands to heart. Exhale. Let's do that one more time. Use tons of awareness. Use your breath. Inhale, reach. Exhale, swan dive. So stick your butt out. Heels are really light. Maybe you even lift a little tiny bit. All the way down into your fold. Nice work. Halfway lift. Inhale, stick your butt out. Good. And fold. Release. Empty out. Press into your feet, lead with your heart, come all the way back up. Arms reach, high mountain. Hands to heart, exhale. Ha. Inhale, take your arms up. This time as you exhale, just bring your arms into a cactus position, goal post arms. So imagine you've got an invisible yoga block in between your inner thighs and squeeze it. Feel your legs get strong and your feet really root into the ground. From here, press your arms back and press your hips forward. Keep squeezing your invisible yoga block. Now bottom tips of shoulder blades hug towards your spine. Lift your heart, lift your gaze. Press your elbows forward and up as you squeeze the bottom tips of your shoulder blades. Keep hugging your invisible yoga block. Try not to let your head collapse. Extend through the sides of your neck. One more round. 
Nice job. Inhale, back to center, arms to the sky, realign. Exhale, swan dive down. So use that exhale to traction out your spine, then fold. Pause in your fold. Bring your hands to your low back and interlace your fingers. Now see if you can start to extend your arms up. So knuckles towards the sky, if possible. Feel that opening in the front of your shoulders. It might be helpful to bend your knees more or widen your feet more. Yes, good. See if you can lift your butt up, lift your knuckles up, let your neck relax, head heavy. Good job. One more huge breath. Try not to lock out your elbows. Very end of your exhale, hands to your low back, release your clasp. Let your arms hang, give them a gentle shake out. Halfway lift on an inhale. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to your plank pose. So top of a push up. Spread your fingers wide, actively push the ground away. Take a big inhale into your plank. And like that invisible rope is pulling up and back on your belly button, exhale, downward facing dog. So just lift your hips and press them back. You might bend your knees a lot, you might not. Inhale, come forward, high plank. So rock forward. So you can come way forward onto your tippy tippy toes, squeeze through the fronts of your thighs. Exhale, lift your hips back and up, down dog. This time we're gonna add a push up. So inhale, come forward, high plank. Modify if you'd like by bringing your knees down. Exhale, lower halfway, strong arms, strong belly, even strong legs. Inhale, push up. Exhale, press back, lift your hips and stretch down dog. One more like that, high plank, inhale. Exhale, halfway. Ah. Navel the spine all the way to empty. Inhale, push back up. Nice pause. Exhale, downward facing dog. And inhale, rock forward. This time you do you. Move through your vinyasa however you would like. Take your time. Maybe you want a Spider-Man Cobra or a Sphinx pose. Baby Cobra, full Cobra, up dog, couple breaths. Eventually back to down dog, no rush. Once you're back in your down dog, big deep breaths, ujjayi. So see if you can not only feel your breath expanding inside of you, but also hear it. Rise and fall, expand and contract over and over again. Follow it with your awareness, follow it in your body. Thanks, Amy. Good poses, you guys. If you want to turn it into a turbo dog, feel free. Bend your elbows, squeeze your elbows towards each other. So it's almost like you're in a dolphin, but your forearms are hovering about an inch or so above the ground. Keep lifting with the strength in your core, that connection to your center. Everybody soften through your face, unclench your jaw. So in down dog, there is a lot of strength work. Can you find a sense of softness, a sense of sweetness in your energetic body? Soften around the pose, soften within the pose. Take one more big inhale. Exhale, gaze to the top of your mat, step or hop, forward fold, top of your space. Halfway lift with your inhalation, spine parallel to the ground, to the horizon. Nice, exhale, fold, bow, empty out. Root through your feet and rise, heart leads all the way up, arms to the sky. Beautiful, Jill, hands to heart, exhale. All right, inhale, take your arms up. And exhale, side body stretch to the right. You can make it your own. So maybe you grab your left wrist. Maybe you bring your right hand to your right hip. Maybe a yin yang variation. Fingers interlace, lots of options. 
The goal is to create more space in your left side. So breathe into that length. Keep your left shoulder back and down. Most of your weight is in your left foot. If you want, you can reach your right tiptoes out to the right. Keep them really light against the ground. Take one more round. Imagine a crescent moon shape with your body. Inhale back to center, realign, readjust. And then your variation, other side, up and over. So send your hips to the right, upper body to the left. If you try to create this just with your upper body, you're very limited in your mobility. So initiate it from your lower body, most of your weight in your right foot. Hips move to the right. And then upper body to the left, like you're being pulled in opposite directions. Keep your right shoulder back and down. Breathe into your right waistline, rib cage, big, huge breaths. One more round. Inhale back to center. Nice job. Exhale, cactus your arms, hug in with your inner thighs, press your hips forward, lift your heart. Bottom tips of shoulder blades squeeze. Inhale, arms to the sky, realign. Swan dive with your exhale. Stick your butt out. Heels are super light as you dive all the way down. Halfway lift. Breathe in. Feel into the length of your spine and the back of your neck. Exhale. Fold. Plant your hands. Step back into your plank. Vinyasa however you want to. So add or subtract whatever you'd like. Hey, Sarah. Substitute cat cows if you'd rather. Skip it all together if that serves you today. There is no shame in skipping every single vinyasa in your practice if you feel like it that day. Maybe that is your practice is to let go of your ego and to just skip every vinyasa in the class. See how it feels. See if you can be with that. That's your yoga. Once you're back in your down dog, ujjayi breath. Inhale your right leg to the sky, three-legged dog. And then go ahead today and again, you do you. So if you want, you can open your hip, you can roll out your ankle, you can bend your knee, take some circles with your knee through space. So whatever your body is calling for, or just hold in your three-legged dog, hip square, make your right leg strong and powerful as you press into the ground with your fingertips. Feel that connection to your center. Nice, Chris. Take one more inhalation and everybody extend your right leg as long as you can. Exhale, right knee to your nose. So scoop out your belly, round your back. Stay here as you breathe in, shoulders over your wrists, on your back, tippy, tippy toes, push the ground away. Exhale, step forward, low lunge. Take a moment and just move your legs. So your own little stretches, feeling into your legs this morning. What's going on in my hips, my hamstrings? Maybe we even feel into your low back here. Everything is connected, so feel around. Close your eyes, and if all you do is close your eyes and put your awareness in your body, take a few deep breaths, perfect. Yes, very nice. In your next couple of rounds, absolutely no hurry, crescent lunge. So you can start finding your way into your high crescent lunge. And then eventually just settle in. Good. Very nice. So front knee over your ankle. Hips are square. You're high on the ball of your back foot. To find stability in this pose, hug towards midline. So think of pulling your front hip back and your back hip forward. It's like you're plugging the femur bones. That's what you're doing. Plugging the femur bones into the hip sockets. Tone your lowest, deepest abdominals. So navel to spine, feel your low back lengthen, feel your heart lift higher. As you reach up, see if you can also gaze up just slightly. So not collapsing through the back of your neck, but just lifting your heart, lifting your gaze. Soften through your energetic body. So you're using all this strength, all this power 
Find a little bit of softness and sweetness as well. Maybe you have a little smile on your face. I know it feels so weird to smile. Maybe that means we should do it more. Take one more big inhale, reach up. Good job, exhale. Bring your hands to your front thigh and lean forward just a bit. So now you've got a diagonal line from the top of your head back to your left heel. Pull your belly button back and up. Feel that connection to center. Press your hands really firmly into your front thigh. Keep that and then lean forward, float your back foot off the ground. Keep pressing into your front thigh, lengthening your spine. You can stay right here, make your back leg strong and powerful like you're stomping it on the back wall. Or option for arms, maybe one or both arms reaches out, reaches forward. Maybe you wanna reach back, so make it your own or stay where you're at, one more breath. Good work, end of your exhale, back to crescent lunge, soft landing if possible, arms to the sky, inhale. Exhale, bring your hands to the ground. Sweep your hands over to the left long edge of your mat. Parallel your feet, straighten out your legs. Nice work, halfway lift, inhale. If you want, you can add some arms, maybe reach out to the sides, big wingspan. Exhale, anywhere you wanna go. So either work your wide-legged fold or explore. You can play. Big, spacious breath. So don't forget to breathe, especially in these moments where you have your own time. Rather than tuning out, letting go of the breath, tune in. See if you can breathe deeper than you thought you could. See if you can breathe into spaces you didn't even know were there. Saw through your face, cheeks, jaw, forehead. Very nice. Take one more round. All right, inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, full, reverse swan dive all the way up. So lead with your heart, reach up. You got it, good, and then warrior two. So pivot your right toes to face forward, bend your right knee, reach forward and back, nice job. If you want, maybe you gaze down at your feet, adjust if needed. So front heel intersects back arch or lines up with your back toes. Try not to let your butt stick out, but rather wrap your right butt cheek underneath you and track your right knee towards your pinky toe. If when you do that, your left hip kind of shoots forward, notice that, and just pull it back a little bit. So nice and neutral through your pelvis while allowing your hips to open. Beautiful, friends. Next inhalation, reverse your warrior. Front palm rotates up, reach up, reach back. Create length in your right side. So just like that crescent moon shape we created at the top of our mat, create that in your upper body. Right side really long, variations are welcome. Keep the deep bend in your right knee. These cows, good. Awesome, Caleb, one more inhale. As you exhale, side angle. So come through your warrior two, reach forward and then tip it over. Keep your heart open. So rather than heart towards the ground, your heart wants to look up towards the sky. If you wanna keep your right elbow on your right thigh, that's perfectly fine. I would like to reach my left arm forward, personally lengthen through my left side. There's a variation you wanna take, half bind, full bind, go for it. Keep wrapping your right butt cheek, keep tracking your right knee towards your pinky toe. Root through the outer edges of both feet. Breathe, beautiful, nice Laney. One more deep breath. Ah, inhale, rise back up, warrior two, straighten your front leg and make sure your hips are nice and even. So a lot of times my back hip is higher than my front, level out your hips and then reverse triangle. So reach up and just slightly back, press down firmly into your right foot and then reach through your right fingertips, one more in breath. 
Exhale, cartwheel your hands to the ground, low lunge. Now listen, three-legged down dog, right leg to the sky. You can go straight to down dog or exhale, rock forward, three-legged plank or regular plank, modified plank. You choose lower down, chaturanga. Heart lifts with your in-breath. And downward facing dog as you're ready. You can take an extra breath in your heart opener if you want. Nice job, friends. Big, spacious inhale. Long, strong exhales all the way to empty. Anytime you feel the urge, open mouth exhales are more than welcome. Ah, it can feel so good. Cleansing breath, cooling breath, a release of stuck energy, a release of too much energy. Take one more big inhale into your dog pose. Exhale, gaze to the top of your mat, step or hop, forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in, lengthen. Exhale, bow, let it go. Ah. Chair pose, bend your knees, weight in your heels, lift your heart. So your butt goes back as your heart lifts and then arms reach up. If this feels like too much in your neck or your shoulders, cactus your arms, let your shoulders soften a bit. Weight in your heels for now and see if you can pick up your toes, spread them. So feel that activation, that aliveness through your feet. Yeah, heart is lifted. Gaze is slightly lifted. So rather than gazing down at the ground, he's slightly forward. Take one more in breath. As you exhale, swing your arms back, chair plane. Stay here or lift up to your tiptoes. Drinking bird. Lift your heels as high as you can. Squeeze your back muscles around your spine. Imagine your elbows are magnetized behind your back. Maybe bend your knees a little bit more. Get a little lower in your legs. Yes, take one more round. Ah, stay on your tiptoes if you can. High mountain all the way up as tall as you can grow. Maybe stay on your tiptoes. Stick your butt out. Swan dive down. Helpful to bend your knees. So that's an exaggeration of what you want to feel every time you swan dive down. Halfway lift. Breathe in. Heels are on the ground. Exhale, plant your hands and vinyasa your way back to down dog. Nice job, friends. Big deep breath. Next inhale, take your left leg to the sky. Take a moment, you do you, keep your left leg strong and powerful, hip square, or maybe you want to open your left hip, maybe you want to roll out your left ankle, maybe you want to take some circles with your left knee, wherever you do choose to go, your breath is right there, feel into it, this is your own exploration, it can look so many ways, there's no right or wrong. Last big inhale, take your left leg high, make it strong, powerful. As you exhale, left knee to your nose, so round your back, scoop out your belly. Stay here, breathe in, see if you can lift higher through your waistline, come up to your tippy tippy toes, and then step forward, low lunge. Take a moment to stretch your legs. You can do what you did on the other side or something completely different. Maybe you don't even remember what you did on the other side. Big deep breath. Nice work. And you're in your next couple of rounds, high crescent. So front knee over front ankle, hip square. Yeah, so back leg should feel just as strong and powerful as your front leg. 
You should feel like there's just as much weight in your back leg as there is in your front. Find the stability by hugging in. So feel that connection to center. Navel to spine, heart lifts, gaze lifts. Reach up, Stay one more inhale. Exhale, hands to your front thigh. So lean forward. And as you bring your hands to your front thigh, really press into your thigh and kind of round your low back like you're puffing up through your low back. Feel your belly button pull in and up. That's your connection to center. That's gonna help you balance. When you're ready, most of your, all of your weight in your left foot and then right foot floats up. If you wanna stay here and not take the balance, absolutely fine. It's always an option. Once you're in your warrior three variation, back leg strong, hips square, maybe add some arms. So one or both arms reach as, reaches out, forward, back, maybe prayer position. Awesome, Amy. One last big breath. Good job. End of your exhale, soft landing, back in crescent, arms to the sky, inhale. Exhale, hands to the earth. Sweep your hands over to the right long edge of your yoga mat. Parallel your feet, straighten out your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Arms if you want, reach them out to the sides, reach them forward, back. Exhale, fold or wherever you wanna go. So move around if you want to or find stillness and just feel the movement inside your body, the inner space. There's so much happening. Can you breathe even bigger, even deeper than you thought you could? Nice job, you guys. Next time you inhale, come back to a halfway lift for a moment. Exhale, fold all the way to empty. And then from the press of your feet, reverse swan dive all the way to stand. Arms reach up as you inhale. Exhale, warrior two, left toes pivot forward. Bend your left knee, reach your left arm forward, right arm back. Maybe you gaze down at your feet, adjust if needed. And then I really love personally in warrior two, closing my eyes and feeling it from the inside. So you can really feel into your pelvis and your hips. Feel into that subtle engagement through your lowest, deepest abdominals, your transverse. Nice work, feet are rooted and strong. Next inhale, reverse your warrior. Front palm rotates up. Nice, Sally, reach up and then reach back. Keep bending deeply into your front knee. Track your front knee towards your pinky toe. Wrap your front butt cheek underneath your body. Press into the outer edges of both feet. Feel your left side. Imagine you can lift your left rib cage up away from your left hip even more. Take one more big inhale. Very nice. Exhale, come through warrior two. Reach towards the front wall. Tip it over, side angle. So left hand towards the ground, right arm towards the sky, or perhaps left elbow to left thigh. Maybe right arm wants to reach forward. Half bind or full bind or your own variation, your own exploration, big deep breaths. Remember your heart wants to look up. So rather than closing off through your heart, nice Ollie, stay nice and open. Good Ellie, one last round. Awesome poses, inhale, come back to warrior two. Straighten your front leg. Feel into your hips, are they nice and level? Front palm rotates up, reach up and just slightly back, it's not a lot. So feel the strength in your right side abdominals as you stretch through your left side. Reach through your left fingertips, press down into your left foot. One more in breath, exhale, cartwheel your hands to the ground, low lunge. Three-legged dog, left leg to the sky, inhale. 
Straight to down dog with your exhale or rock forward, plank to chaturanga. You can make it your own, modify if you want. Heart lifts, nice prime. And hips lift with your exhalation, back to down dog. Ah, everybody, you can stay in down dog, walk it out, reconnect to your breath, or if you'd rather, child's pose is more than welcome. Take a moment, feel your body, slow down your breath. We're gonna move through that entire sequence again, a couple more times, breath to movement. Doesn't mean we speed through it with momentum. It means we go super slowly with our slow, big, deep breaths and let our breath guide us. If at any time you want to take a break or do your own thing, that is always fine with me. It's your practice, so give yourself what you need. If you are coming with me, downward facing dog, ujjayi breath. Use your breath to power you from the inside. One more big inhale into your down dog. Exhale, gaze forward, step or float, forward fold. Halfway lift with your inhalation, spine parallel to the ground, back of your neck long, nice Sally. Exhale, fold, empty all the way out. Beautiful, Amy, rise all the way up, arms to the sky, inhale. Hands to your heart, exhale. Ah, all right, here we go. Inhale, reach up. We've got our side body stretches. Exhale to your right, your version, your variation. Inhale, back to center, realign, relengthen. Other side, exhale to your left. Back to center with your inhale. Baby back, bend with your exhale, cactus your arms. Feel navel to spine connection as you curl open. Bottom tips of shoulder blades squeeze. Arms re-extend, spine realigns. Inhale, swan dive down. Exhale, traction out your spine. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, plant your hands, step or hop back, take your vinyasa or skip it if you'd rather. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, lift your hips. Ah. Inhale, right leg to the sky, stretch it up. Now use your core, exhale, step your right foot forward, soft as you can. Nice, Caleb, rise up, breathe in, crescent. Exhale, hands to your front thigh, lean forward, prepare to balance. Stay if you want, or float your back foot off the ground, inhale. Stay for your exhale, maybe add some arms. Everybody back to crescent lunge, inhale, lift your heart, lift your gaze. Exhale, hands come down, immediately sweep them over to the left, long edge of your mat, parallel your feet, straighten your legs, halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, fold, dive deeply all the way to empty. Root through your feet, reverse swan dive all the way up, arms to the sky, inhale. Exhale, warrior two, right toes forward, bend your right knee, reach forward. Inhale, reverse, reach up, reach back, keep that deep bend in your front knee. Exhale, side angle, take it forward, tip it over, stay open through your heart, strong through your legs. Inhale, reverse, try. So rise up, straighten your front leg, reach up and slightly back. Feel the length in your right side. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down, low lunge. So put it to the ball of your back foot. Three-legged dog, right leg high, stretch it out. Straight to down dog or exhale, rock forward, chaturanga dandasana. Heart lifts, breathe in. Hips lift, breathe out, everybody downward facing dog. 
Take a great big inhale into your down dog. Exhale, look forward, step or float, top of your space, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, bow, empty out. Ah. Chair pose, bend your knees, weight in your heels, lift your heart, lift your gaze. Exhale, chair plane or drinking bird. Swing your arms back. Option to float to your tippy tippy toes. Inhale, high mountain. Stay on your tiptoes if you can. Squeeze through the front of your thighs. Exhale, maybe stay on your tiptoes. Swan dive down. Stick your butt out. Bend your knees all the way down. Forward fold. Heels on the ground for your halfway lift. Breathe in. Exhale, plant your hands, feet back, vinyasa, or skip it straight back to down dog if you'd rather. Inhale, lift your heart. They see me. Exhale, lift your hips. Breathe in, take your left leg to the sky, three legged. Use your core strength to slowly and softly exhale, step your left foot through, low lunge. Rise with your inhale, crescent, heart lifts, gaze lifts, reach to your fingertips. Hey, Sally, exhale, hands to your front thigh, lean forward, prepare for your balance, and inhale, back foot floats off the ground, keep your back leg strong, stay for your exhale, maybe add some arms. Beautiful, back to crescent, soft landing. Nice, Sarah, arms to the sky, inhale. Beautiful, Chris, exhale, hands to the earth. Sweep your hands to the right long edge of your mat, parallel your feet, straighten your legs. Halfway lift, breathe in, maybe arms are involved. Feel free, exhale, bow as deep as you can. Crown towards the ground, sit bones towards the sky, navel to spine, reverse swan dive, press into your feet, rise, inhale, arms up, exhale, warrior two, left fingers forward, toes forward, bend your front knee, inhale, reverse, reach up, reach back. Exhale, nice Sally side angle, reach forward, tip it over, stay open through your heart. Very beautiful, rise, reverse triangle, straighten your front leg, reach up and just slightly back. And exhale, cartwheel your hands down, low lunge position. Three-legged down dog, inhale, left leg high. Exhale, straight to down dog, or come forward, vinyasa, your way. Heart lifts with your inhale. Hips lift with your exhale. If you want to grab a child's pose instead, feel free. Take a moment to just feel your body, feel your breath, slow it down if it's sped up. We'll move through that one more time. I'm going to add a few small little changes. So just like you always do, stay present, listen to my cues, take them if they work. If not, do what works best for you. If you're coming with me, a couple more breaths in your child's pose or your down dog. Open mouth exhales if you'd like. If you're in child's pose, downward facing dog, great big inhale into your down dog. Exhale, gaze forward, step or hop, forward fold, top of your space. Inhale, halfway lift position, lengthen, feel into that length. Exhale, fold, bow, empty all the way out. Press into your feet, rise. Inhale, big full body stretch. Hands to heart, exhale. Last round, here we go. Inhale, reach up. 
Side body stretch of your choice to your right. Hips go left. Inhale through center. Other side, up and over, exhale. Inhale, back to center, realign. BB back bend, exhale, make it come from your mid and your upper back. Inhale, re-extend, realign. So feel into a neutral pelvis, neutral spine. Exhale, stick your butt out, heart forward all the way down, swan dive, forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, plant your hands, feet back, vinyasa, or skip it straight back to down dog. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, lift your hip. Listen here, inhale your right leg high, hang out or exhale, right knee, left elbow. Get as close as you can, use your core strength, push the ground away. Three-legged dog, right leg high, inhale. Exhale, right knee, right armpit, aim as high as you can, maybe even add a little push-up, bend your elbows, don't let your butt drop, inhale, three-legged. Nice, Halls. Exhale, everybody, knee to your nose, and then step through, low lunge. Rise up, crescent lunge, breathe in, heart lifts, gaze lifts. Exhale, hands to your front thigh, prepare for your balance, navel to spine, gazes down. And inhale, back foot floats up, warrior three variations, stay and hold as you exhale. Option for some arms. Nice work. Back to crescent lunge, soft landing. Breathe in, lift your heart. Beautiful, exhale, hands come down. Walk your hands over to the left long edge of your mat. Parallel your feet, straighten your legs. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, fold all the way to empty. Press into your feet, lean with your heart all the way up, arms to the sky, inhale. Warrior two, exhale, right toes forward, reach forward. And reverse, front palm rotates up, reach up, reach back, bend into your front knee. Side angle, reach forward, tip it over, listen, pause here. Stay in your side angle or option for balancing half moon. Back foot floats up, make your back leg strong. If the bind is in your practice, you'd like to take it here, you're more than welcome. Your pose, your expression. If you're hanging out in side angle, perfect. Be there, breathe there. Wherever you are at, about two more rounds. Big spacious breaths, open through your heart, open through your hips. Ah, good job, friends. Back to warrior two, soft landing if you're balancing. Settle in. Everybody, next time you breathe in, reverse triangle, straighten your front leg. Reach up, reach slightly back. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down, low lunge. Three-legged dog, right leg high, inhale. And listen, pause here, open up your right hip, bend your right knee. So stack your right hip on top of left. Perfect place to stay or flip your dog. Right toes come down behind you. Right arm reaches forward, heart forward, good. Beautiful, friends, if you're in the back bend, one more big breath. Everybody come back when you're ready. Regular down dog. Just walk it out in your down dog. <clears throat> if you want to keep walking it out in your down dog, perfect. If you would like, inhale, rock forward to high plank. Option to hover your right leg. Exhale, slowly lower chaturanga. Ah, heart lifts, breathe in. Hips lift, breathe out. Everybody, great big inhale into your downward facing dog. And as you exhale, gaze to the top of your space, step or float, forward fold. 
Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, spine parallel to the ground. Exhale, dive deeply, fold in. Last time, chair pose, bend your knees, lift your heart. Sit back. Exhale, chair plane or drinking bird. So maybe you float up to tiptoes. Nice, Jill. Maybe you stay on your tiptoes. High mountain, as tall as you can grow. Squeeze through the front of your thighs. Squeeze those little muscles around your knees. Exhale, swan dive. Maybe you're still on your tiptoes. Big balance challenge. Beautiful. Heels on the ground. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale, plant your hands, step or float back. You choose vinyasa or straight to down dog. Skip it if you'd rather. Thanks, Christine. Heart lifts, inhale, hips lift, exhale. Now listen, friends, left leg to the sky, breathe in. Stay here and hang out or left knee, right elbow, exhale, get as close as you can. Inhale, back up, three-legged, left to left. Aim high at a push-up if you want. Don't let your butt drop. Nice, Caleb. Inhale, back up. Everybody, knee to your nose. Scoop out your belly and then step through softly. Crescent lunge with your inhale. Rise. You are almost there. Stick with it. Heart high. Gaze up. Exhale, hands to your front thigh, lean forward, gaze down, prepare for your balance. Back foot floats up as you inhale, strong through your back leg. Maybe add some arms, exhale, hold. You got it, come back to your crescent lunge, soft landing, breathe in. Exhale, hands down, walk your hands over to the right long edge, parallel your feet, straighten your legs, halfway lift, inhale, stick your butt out, top of your head forward, exhale, fold, dive deeply, all the way to empty in your breath, reverse swan dive, rise, inhale, arms to the sky. Warrior two, exhale, left toes forward, reach forward. Inhale, reverse, reach up, reach back. Exhale, side angle, reach forward, tip it over. Stay inside angle or option for balancing half moon on this side. Reach forward as you float your back foot off the ground. Maybe you use a block under your left hand. Great place for a block. Nice, Sally. Back leg strong. Bind if you want. Ardha Chandra Chapasana. About two more breaths wherever you've chosen to be. Breathe deeply. Feel your breath move through every little space. Good. Soft landing. Back to warrior two, everybody. Settle in. Next inhale, reverse triangle, straighten your front leg, reach up, reach slightly back. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down, low lunge, pivot to the ball of your back foot. Three-legged with your in-breath, left leg to the sky, pause. Open your left hip, bend your left knee, maybe flip your dog. So left foot comes down behind, left arm forward, heart forward. Down to your belly, about two big breaths if you're in the back bend. Very nice, beautiful. Everybody back to down dog, walk it out. Keep walking it out. Or inhale, rock forward, high plank option to hover left leg one last time. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift your heart. And then wherever you want to go, find a resting pose of your choice. Child, embryo, heroes. Feel your body, feel your breath, feel the energy within you, the energy around you. Feel anything moving through you. What is happening right now? Not yesterday, not tomorrow, but right here in this moment. 
Be in your body, be with your breath. Feel free to give yourself a couple open mouth sighs. Ah. And your next couple of rounds, downward facing dog. All right, friends, guess what? We made it to pigeon pose. Inhale your right leg to the sky. And then exhale pigeon, right shin to the top of your mat. Gently set your body down. So if you'd rather take this in a seat or on your back, absolutely fine with me. Right knee towards the outer right edge of your mat. And especially if you have naturally really open hips, rather than sinking into your joints, which is so tempting, it probably feels good. Try to hug in. So plug the femur bones into the hip sockets. Pull your front hip back, back hip forward. Keep pulling your front hip back and up as you bow. So you shouldn't have your right butt cheek resting on the ground. It should be above the ground. Active through your right toes. And big, spacious breaths all the way down into your hips. Soften with your exhale. Notice, where do you tense up? Not even realizing it. So if you really tune in, if you really pay attention, is there anywhere just energetically that you're holding resistance, that you're energetically contracting or constricted? And just explore sending your breath into those spaces, even if it's just visualizing it with your mind's eye. Take about four or five more rounds in your pigeon. Really good, you guys. Last couple breaths, maybe bigger, maybe open mouth size. Wow. And slowly begin transitioning up. So lift your upper body, plant your hands, and we're gonna move into a three-legged tabletop. So tuck your back toes, scoot your back knee forward. Unthread your right leg, give it a nice little shake out here. And then eventually pivot on your left knee so your left foot comes to the outer left edge of your mat. Right leg extends back and right arm reaches up. Yeah, modified side plank, perfect. You can stay right here or take your right arm forward towards the front wall, lengthen through your right side. Stay here or final option, bend your right knee. Grab hold of your right foot, kick foot in the hand. Yeah, maybe your ankle as well. Kick foot in the hand, pull hand back in the foot and turn your heart to look up. So press your heart or press your hips gently forward. Breathe all the way down into your belly. One last breath, wherever you're at. Nice job, end of your exhale. Tabletop position, hands and knees. Maybe take a moment, a couple cat cows, a little bit of intuitive movement. And then back to a neutral spine. Extend your left leg out to the left. Toes face forward. 
And if it feels good to you, you can take a moment to rock forward and back a few times. Eventually, I think everybody in here has been in this thread the needle variation. So eventually come into your thread the needle pose, thread your right arm underneath. Yes, just like that. And then breathe, breathe into your back body. Exhale all the way to emptiness. In this pose, I think there's a lot of sensitivity and little adjustments. So transferring your weight a little bit forward, a little bit back, pressing into your left fingertips, pressing into your left foot, all of those things make a really big difference in the way the pose feels. So what feels most skillful, most beneficial for you? Take one or two more big deep breaths. If your left hand happens to be lifted, set your left hand back on the ground. And then everybody inhale to unthread your right arm. Reach it all the way up, 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 open. And then exhale, right hand comes down. Pick up your left foot and swing your left tiptoes off the right side of your yoga mat. Pull your hips over to the left and gaze back over your right shoulder. So think of that crescent moon shape. It's a side body stretch. You wanna use your entire left side to gaze back at your tiptoes. Take one more round. And nice Ellie back to tabletop back to downward facing dog walk it out inhale your left leg to the sky exhale pigeon pose left shin forward gently set your body down Left knee towards the outer left edge of your mat rather than midline. And if this is better for you, this pose on your back or in a seat, please always feel free to go where is most skillful for you today. Left hip is energetically pulling back and up as your heart reaches forward as you bow. Big intentional breaths, big spacious breaths all the way down into your hips. Ah. Just notice what comes, notice what goes, and let it. You're not trying to control or fix or change. You're just noticing. And as you notice, maybe there are ways in which you want to respond. Maybe your response is adjusting your physical body, coming out of the pose for a moment and coming back in. Maybe your response is taking a big, huge, deep breath with an open mouth exhale. So can you learn to pause? between stimulus and response. Give yourself that space to respond from a place of presence, connected to your center, not just reacting, not just frustrated or angry, but feeling into yourself and then responding with wisdom and love and presence. Take about three to five more breaths. We don't come to yoga to be comfortable the entire time. We come to yoga so that we can learn how to sit with discomfort, breathe into discomfort. Teach ourselves that it's only temporary. You are safe. You can relax around it. So energetically, how does it feel to soften, to surrender? Take your last couple of breaths.
Slowly begin your transition up. And then we've got our three-legged tabletop. So plant your hands, tuck your back toes, scoot your back knee forward, unthread your left leg, take it back, give it that nice little shake out for a moment. And then as you're ready, open up into your modified side plank. So your right foot comes to the outer right edge of your mat, left arm to the sky. Yeah, and if you wanna keep your left foot on the ground, totally fine. Otherwise, left leg is lifted. Maybe take your left arm forward and feel into that length there. Perfect place to stay or final option, bend your left knee, reach back, grab hold. Kick foot in the hand, pull hand back in the foot. Let your heart look up, breathe down into your belly. One last huge breath. And of your exhale, slow release back to a tabletop position. Little bit of intuitive movement, whatever feels good. Eventually right leg out to the right. Maybe rock it a few times, forward and back. Thread the needle with your left arm in your own time. So no rush, but eventually your left arm will reach up and then thread underneath. Nice work. Big deep breath. Maybe explore little adjustments in your physical body. So again, just rocking ever so slightly forward or back, changing your weight over to the right, over to the left, just the littlest bit. Think about two more big deep breaths. Good job, you guys. Sorry, I was getting a phone call on my Zoom call. Next inhale, unthread your left arm. Reach it all the way up. It was Shannon Shopper. She was calling me. <laughs> and then left hand down. Good job, you guys. So right foot lifts and then swing it all the way over outer left edge of your mat. Tiptoes to the ground. Gaze back. Look back at your right tiptoes. So think of gazing back with your entire right side, not just with your head. Your entire right side lengthens. Maybe you bend one or both elbows. Maybe you round a little bit, push the ground away. Take one more deep breath. Uh, then come back to a tabletop. One last down dog just to stretch. Or if you'd rather, one last child's pose or maybe a few cat cows, maybe a little bit of intuitive movement from hands and knees. If you want one final vinyasa, now would be your time to take that as well. Nice work. So feel into your body, all that space you created through your practice. Your next few rounds, find your way down onto your back, just a supine position, laying down. Once you're there, maybe you take a full body stretch. Maybe you hug your knees in, little rock side to side. Whatever movement calls to you as you come down onto your back, whatever would feel good. Maybe you just want to lay there for a moment. And then in your next few rounds, find a supine spinal twist of your choice. You can go to either side first. So legs go one direction, and then opposite arm reaches out in the opposite direction. Breathe down into your belly. 
And as much as you can, just give your weight to the ground. So really use the ground underneath you to stabilize and support. Not holding yourself up. Allowing yourself to be held more and more with each breath. Soft face. Soft shoulders. And if you could soften through your heart space, how would that feel? Again, energetically, it's an energetic softening. In your next couple of breaths, find your way to the other side. So take your time as you come through center. So not just plopping your legs over to the other side, but mindfully coming through center, taking a little bit of neutralizing movement, maybe hugging your knees in, taking a little rock, windshield wiper your knees side to side, full body stretch. And eventually, supine spinal twist, opposite direction. Just feel your breath. Feel the ground. The energy inside of you, the space inside of you. And the energy around you, the space around you. And then no rush whatsoever. So take your time. When you do feel pretty even with your twist on both sides, come back to center, find a inversion, any inversion, anything that puts your hips or your legs higher than your heart. So it can be something more restorative. Legs up the invisible wall, bridge with your block underneath your sacrum. It can be something more challenging, regular bridge, plow, shoulder stance. We have plenty of space in here. So if you want to take your mat to a wall and use it as a prop, feel free. Take about five to 10 breaths in your inversion. And then as you're ready, slowly come out of your inversion, take any finishing movements of your choice. So happy baby is my personal favorite at the end of almost every practice. Maybe you wanna rest with your feet together and knees apart. Maybe you wanna roll out your wrists and your ankles. So there's really no right or wrong. It doesn't have to be a yoga pose. Slowly work your way through those last little stretches and then finally find yourself in Shavasana. My thought for you is very simple. This says all we actually know about what it means to live the human experience is what we have directly experienced. Just something to reflect on when judging another. All we actually know about what it means to live the human experience is what we have directly experienced. Something to reflect on when judging another. Also when judging ourselves. Nobody really knows how to do this. Nobody really knows the right way or the wrong way to live, to be human. So let yourself do it your way. You do you. And feel into that place inside of you. 
and so, so deep. It's underneath all the labels, all the stories, all the patterns, all the ways we've been conditioned to show up for others. Underneath it all, what's there? It's the essence of you. The deepest place inside of you, your center, your core. Feel that connection to you. And then at the same time, feel your connection to everything around you, the space around you. To your higher self, to some sort of divine energy, whether you call it God, whether you call it source, to something greater than yourself. Feel your connection to that. So connected to your deepest self and your highest self, your greatest, most infinite self at the same time. And just breathe that in, breathe that out. Feel what it feels like just to be you, to live in your body. Feel the rise and fall of each breath. Shavasana. Well, before you take a deep breath in, I want you to think of how you want to feel. So maybe one word of something you want to bring into your body, compassion, love, 
forgiveness, power, something that resonates for you. How does that word feel when you're ready? Take a great big inhale and breathe that feeling in, breathe that word, breathe that energy into your body. Just let it move through every little space, circulate inside of you, make its way through, feel it. Visualize it perhaps, what color is it? And then when you're ready, just big exhale and just soften into it. Ah, let it settle inside. And start to bring just gentle movement into your fingers and toes. If it would feel nice, maybe you give yourself a little temple massage or forehead massage. And then as you're ready, either side, fetal position, find your way there. Staying connected to that place deep inside of you, your center. Staying connected to that feeling of something greater than yourself, the divine. Letting it have space inside of you as well. Staying connected to whatever that feeling is that you wanted to bring in. And staying connected to it as we move about our day. Coming back to it perhaps in those moments of stimulus and response in that space of pause. Use the strength in your arms to guide yourself up into a seat. So right back where we began. Seated meditation. Sit up tall with intention, attention, eyes closed, hands to your heart. Just bow your head to your own heart and acknowledge yourself for showing up this morning, making the effort and taking the time to roll out your mat, to do your practice, to connect with this deeper place inside of you. Thank you so much for letting me guide you. Namaste. Okay. All right, my friends. Happy Sunday. Thank you for being here. If you have any questions, always please feel free to ask me. And yeah, I think hopefully I'll see you soon. Go to Amy's Riders and Riders and Riders, I think. Okay. There's so many things. <laughs> <laughs>